Hi, I'm Jessica from Devolutions, and today we're going to look at how to use the manual setting with checkout mode. We've made a video that's an overview of how to use the checkout mode, but today we're going to go deeper into how to use manual. I'll give you a little demo and then we'll look at how to set it up. So let me share you my screen. So this entry has manual checkout mode configured already and at the moment I haven't yet checked out the entry and what we can see is that I can't open the properties or open the session. So if an entry is set to manual mode and you haven't checked it out, you won't be able to view, use, or edit the entry. Once I check it out, just let me give some information in the comment. So once you check it out, then you can access the properties, open the session if you want, and basically edit it or, or use it. So now I'm going to show you how to set up um, checkout mode on a different entry using manual mode. So I'll just check this one in for now and go to this other RDP session, click properties, security, and for checkout mode, choose manual. Okay, I'm going to leave the checkout prompt is for the, uh, for the comment if we want it or not. You can choose to turn it on or off. I'm going to leave it for now. Click OK. Just give it a second and now we can see we have to check out the entry before we can use it or edit it or view it. Um, we can actually check it out and we don't actually need to open the session. So this is also a way to like lock a session with, by checking it out with actually opening it. There are a couple of cases where this could be useful. Let's say you want to edit the entry's properties and you don't want anyone else using it during that time. Then you check it out in manual mode and then edit the properties. Or maybe you just want to lock an entry because you're a managed service provider and one of your clients is doing maintenance on their server. In that case, you check out the entry, but you won't actually open the session. And that way no one in your team at work could use it. Uh, so let's just go through some of the other ways to use it. To check out the entry, obviously we use checkout. Then we put in the famous comment that I've been typing, maintenance in my case. And before I skipped over it, but here we have automatic check-in after. What sometimes happens with manual mode, because you have to manually check in the entries before anyone can use them, sometimes team members forget and that slows down the workflow. So one way that we've got you covered here is with automatic check-in after. It does what it sounds like. If you turn on the option, it will make the entry available. It will check it back in after a certain duration of time. I'm just going to change this to 720 minutes, which is about 12 hours. That should be enough time for this. And then when I click OK, the entry is now checked out for me for the next 12 hours. If I finish ahead of time, I can always use the check-in button to check in the entry and make it available for everyone again. So now that I've kind of brought up this issue that if we forget to check something back in, what happens, right? Like what happens if someone forgets to check in back in an entry? Um, it's important to note that only administrators or the user who checked out the entry can check it back in. There is a, sec a third thing you can do if neither of those people are available and you could like set this up before time. You could have a specific user who has special permissions to check back in entries. So this would just be a normal user and you decide, okay, he will also do this for us if an administrator isn't available. Um, and in data source permissions, miscellaneous, we have check in force. You choose custom and then you can select the roles or users that you want to have this extra privilege. So the last thing I want to show you is the checkout report. And this is something that administrators can look at to get a quick list of what entries are currently checked out. This could help them see what people are working on or if they need to figure out what needs to be checked back in. Um, so go to the administration tab, reports, logs in history, and checkouts. If we look at that, 
the two entries that I've shown you just before um, are currently checked out. And so we can see here the name of them, the folder, the username, and when they were checked out, as well as the comment that the person entered at the beginning. So that's a way that you can quickly see what is being checked out, what has been checked out right now. If you want to see what's been checked out in the past, you can always look at the logs on the entry or in the activity logs and reports. So that's everything I wanted to show you with manual mode um, in checkouts. The important things to think about are how you can make sure that users check back in entries because only the user who checked it out can check it back in, except for administrators. And are the administrators available, I guess, is the big question. Otherwise, you could use the automatic check-in option or give some normal users the extra permission to check other entries back in. Um, if you want more general information about the checkout mode, we've made a video about that as well, and we'll give you a link for that. We're always coming out with new videos, so you can subscribe to our channel our YouTube channel and learn a little bit more about RDM or our other products like Devolution's Password Server. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to jump into our super active online forum or follow us on social media. Thanks a lot for watching.